Hello and welcome. Now I've been doing a bit of prep work. Yeah, I have. I've cleared the grass field. I want to set a course over there. I've not done that yet, but I have set the 42 metre liming course and I filled it up the first time. Yeah, I've got most things ready. I thought I'd clear this up a little bit and start to put some things away in here. Let's get a bit more order because it seems the last couple of episodes have been exceptionally fruitful but really chaotic. Yeah, all yeah, here, there and everywhere. So... Yeah, I want to get the the grass underway. But let's just go and set the limer off first, and also the cedar. Now, did I put the terracen back in? No, that was a 12 meter. I've got that around here. I think I just need to borrow the John Deere to lift that up, which I brought it across, ready to do that. I suppose we could. We could be clever here, actually. We could use that fantastic pallet. I always keep saying this about using this to its full, truthfully. Because I don't, and it, I could I would, could make it much more unrealistic if I don't... Yeah, I'm going to have to do that where you do that, because it just... Yeah, it's awkward. Right, we need to... Uh, strap it, although it doesn't strap very well when it's like that, really. Now, surely I should... I was going to say... I should get to refill pallet. Yeah, because it's weird that I can't remember the terrace then being like that, where it won't actually fill. Like, oh, what? Oh, oh, here we go. It really is something about the AGM. <laughs> I, I, th I, th yeah, I do think that it, it may be a tad unstable. A tad. It's got to be something about the AGM and certain things. Oh, let's, let, let's try that again. I, I also, I, I wasn't completely in it. Was it me? I, I, no, there is a bit more to this than meets the eye, definitely. But it's, it's definitely having a lot of weirdnesses on. And it's usually centred around the AGM pack. So I can't ignore that fact. It, oh, yeah. And I definitely can't ignore that fact. No, I can't. So, can we strap this? Or is that just as bad? Yeah, this is just to get it. Because obviously we're, we're in a game, but we're stuck with our partners. And there's very little I can do at present. No, that won't actually work. It will. It insists that you are actually... Oh, that's going to be messy. And did I, I, no, I don't think I'd even got the straps on. Or had I? Is it the straps? But, uh Okay, let's try and not use the straps at all at the minute. Let's just see if we can get close to this and fill it. Yeah, I'm going to have to investigate this a little bit more fully. Although, really, I've got to be honest, yeah, I've, I've not only seen that on this Let's Play. Yeah, so far, the AGM's been... Um, I don't mean there's been no... No glitches at all, but they're certainly not to this extent. This is really quite painful and ridiculous. I mean, it gives everyone a laugh, but it's not. <laughs> it's not really brilliant, is it? To be honest. Right now, it's, we don't want this near anything else that can be filled, because then it'll leave that refill pallet malarkey. Let's stick that down in case I need this in a few minutes. Yeah, we shouldn't need. Uh, yeah, we'll set the. Can set the course across the road with the terrace M. Let's shut that. Yeah, I'm a, a little bit upset about the trees. I don't know what to do, really. It's a bit annoying. Oh, that's not, let's just cut, check contracts. Oh, as he dropped his mouse off the, uh, the desk. Let's have a look. Contracts. Oh, I've done something to my mouse now. I don't want to move. Typical. No, currently no contracts for right, smashing. Let's let's get this done. Yeah, I want to get the grass sorted. I put the, I pushed everything to the side. I had fertilizer on the field. I had the um, the low loader on the field, and yeah. So I've moved everything out of the way. That that one was already out of the way a little bit. So yeah, and I would like to make this 
where we go into the field because it makes sense actually it goes all the way down there but I'm gonna to have to do a bit of work and that requires us to have a little bit of money so what I'm gonna no we are gonna to have to do this properly let's set course by on it right this I think I've already set now I think this is still gonna struggle uh, also yeah oh it is doing it now it's weird yeah I was having difficulties with the front load it what would not um, adjust yeah, the actual box itself, I can lift it up and down, but yeah, I'm not getting the fine movement where you can, and I've had this quite a few times, I don't know whether it's, whether this has got IC control and it does windows and doors on the same features, and this is why I'm not a massive fan of that type of stuff, when it starts to interrupt with genuine farming things for prettiness, yeah, I prefer, right, yeah, no, I have, I can see it. Each to their own, it really is, isn't it? Now, this time it's recognising the fact that I'm not wanting to... No, it isn't. It is not. Now, can we do something about this unloading thing? No. Why is that not actually allowing me to... Now it's doing, yeah, again, I haven't got any control of this. It won't let me. Now, this is gamepad friendly, so something is not right. If we. Yeah, the second you put that down, it recognises that everything's okay. The second you pick it up, but it does more than just that. Yeah, I've still not got any fine control. Yeah, the weight's going to go funny on this because you usually tilt it forwards a little bit, but for some reason. Let's just try dropping that and see if that gains us. Yeah, it is. Isn't that weird? And that's not really got front loader controls. <sighs> right, okay. Yeah, now I should be able to go down. And I, I use this often enough within Courseplay to know how, what keys do what. And I can't, I, with neither a mouse, nor can I stay waiting for unloader. Let's just see if it actually works, though. Because I don't know if, I, I don't think it does. It waits for the silo. It, it does strange things. But let's just see. It is annoying. This is a new feature, obviously, that Courseplay's uh, done that, for some other function that obviously is now interfering with this, which is rather annoying. But, yeah, again, for other people who are wanting that particular feature, it is fantastic. Now, let's just see. Will you still function, even though you're doing weird things to buttons and such like? And are you on auto? No, you're not. Now you are. Right, now you are definitely on auto. Right, smashing that is going to... Yeah, I was going to say, actually, I am being daft. This is going to belt through the, um, the lime in so much that we're really not going to be able to do anything but concentrate on this. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into a time lapse because we've got lots of liming to do and we've got lots of seeding to do and all sorts. I think what we'll do is quickly set that course up for the grass and let that uh, do this. I know it's going to go over some of the grass that's already done as well. That's the, the bad thing. It's going to rip this up and it is the proper grass so therefore it will allow it to do it but hey ho, it is what it is. Right, let's, let's try to make this course then at least. Why is my mouse refusing to shift now? Do you know? Yeah, I'm really enjoying this. I just literally came off a session on Avon Valley. Avon Valley is getting uh, the minute massive because it, we're working on the big, big fields. And right, let's select that. Oh, no. Right, okay, right. We're going to have to manually record a course. Okay, then. So we need to... Clear current course. And start custom field recording. And then get rid of that. Yeah, I, we, we expected that, Obi-Wan. We really did. 
yeah I'll do any tidy up afterwards but yeah we've got to be careful as well going too close to that so I shall do a bit of manual yeah we don't really want to be even though obviously it is a field it still should have a headland or it will not work yeah because I'm going to make this into a, a second grass field I am going to have round corners though I, I understand that I lose a little bit of grass on the corners but oh yeah, you pick, I picked the wrong tractor for sharp corners, didn't I? <laughs> uh, oh well. Slow and steady wins the race. Ooh, I'm going to have to go around this a little bit. It doesn't really matter though. Oh, I suppose I could try and nudge it. Yeah, that'll do. Now we're going to do the same again. So, yeah, so the very edges, this is the bit that's going to be really, really nasty. The slower you do it, the better the turn. Yeah, I realise I said there's going to be a bit of clean up. Right, Dell and stop. Indeed, we will like it called CP1, please. Right, now then, now that we have got that strange, yeah, it wasn't wasn't the best of starts, really. Your position, there we go. Now, that the little kick's going to be strange. Number of headlands, I think we're going to get, get away with one, because of the weirdness of that very thin bit. Yeah, ooh, that might be messy as well, but right, what are we going to call this? We need to save, create a new folder. And what we're going to call it? Animal grass. So in animal grass, save the course. Activate six meters. And let's go to nearest. No, let's not. Let's go first. And we have farmer girl. Right, smashing. So that's the grass being set. Let's go and grab the. Uh, oh, I might clout that. I pushed it in a bit when I was. Yeah, that's any trouble. How far did we get? No, that's the other thing, isn't it? Oh, no, no, actually, it was the WMXL that I thought. I thought the workers don't get so much out of a. Um, when you're using the WMXL, and, and it was based upon evidence. Yeah, I went on Avon Valley. I did one run with a worker and it went the tiny weeniest bit down the field then I went and took over filled the same thing it was completely filled and I got at least twice as much from the same amount of lime uh, literally twice as much on that and I, it wasn't it was one of those things where you think well, that's odd right so then let's yeah I really ought to bring the in fact, we can. Let's bring that off that field. It's going to. It's going. To, no, that's true. Is that the gooseneck or the? It's the gooseneck attacher, isn't it? Which means we need the tatra for it. Yeah, that's just attacking the trailer now. And it's going to get that. Where it still wants. Oh, I don't know though. Oh no, it's. Oh, it isn't. It's a bumper pull. Changed it, didn't I? No, I'm attacking the wrong thing. Right, can we save the day? Yes, that's the car I'm on about. I'm not sure what car it is. Ooh. Farmer girl. We need this on the side of the field for us anyway, so. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with this field set up, the way that we've done this, actually. It's, uh, although, um, yeah, in some ways, I, I do feel that uh, I've tried to run before I could walk. Yeah, I've sort of spent, a, it's a terrible habit of mine to sort of like, in my thing for efficiency, that I'm inefficient in so much as I try too hard to do things too quickly right we need to set that going ah yeah turn in space 
Now that is strange though really because the workers are aware of the turning space of the actual equipment that they've got so you would think that they'd reverse more to actually sort that problem out of bumping into something instead of just sitting at a fence as though they were a wally. Right, let's let's yeah, let's try and tighten this up. Let's make this pretty, and then we'll go back down. Yeah, so then thing with automation, when things sort of go wrong, where you've got to keep doing things that. Right. Yeah, that, that this is. I've never. I know there's a few of those. Um, right, switch that on. With a course play friendly, we can actually load the cedars again. I, I've never that. That's the kind of automation I don't want to go. Not because it's not useful, but because all I'm trying to do is simulate a worker. So I, I'm trying to use course play at a very basic level, just as a worker, not to do. I mean, not not to say I've never done any kind of automation, because I have. Yeah, like take this from here with course where that is I'm, I have tried auto drive I tried it uh, a long time ago but again that's where I, I think eh, but that's not the kind of automation I want you know where you literally I mean after all I'm trying to play the game right I think we'll do this little bit ourselves this little kick and then we'll just go to the corner and we'll literally say nearest also yeah I've got a bit down there and then we'll fill that We'll let this trundle along, but I, it's. I just wanted the grass going because it is quite a big field, and at the minute we can't afford chicken. So I thought, well, we could get a couple of cuts of grass out of this. Waste not, one not. Yeah, we've got to make maximum use of what we've got, haven't we? And especially when you've got a Wally in charge who does over do things as I do do. I am a terror. I am. Although sometimes then I can be conservative on Avon Valley on that uh, because it was ultimate realism and also you could have really made a terrible mistake if you'd have spent the money too willy nilly. Uh, I, I literally was quite cautious on spending the money at the beginning and I am glad that I did because I do think we would have run into problems so I can do it occasionally. But that, that was like the, uh, yeah, that, I suppose when I knew I was my back was against the wall I was a bit more conservative. Because I can be very gung ho, where I just like, yeah, 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 let's do that and crack on. And but yeah, there's got to be a bit of balance as well. Right now, this should be done. Just a bit of clean up at the top. So this this bit this section here is all done. Now then, yeah, this really, wow, it really is a terrible turner. Most tractors would have been able to turn in that space. Oh, come on, you can do it. He's still a cracking tractor. I'm not having a go. It's more an observation than it is a criticism. Well, it is a bit of a criticism, yeah, or, or, or yeah, preference that I would have preferred a, a slightly better tractor. Would I ever pick this particular tractor? No, because steering is one of those things that I would truthfully think was important. Right, I'm not sure if you're going to go. Right, let's grab some more. Yeah, we've got fertiliser over there. And of course, we are going to need to do that as well. Oh, no. Yeah, that field, obviously, I didn't realise. Let's grab. Yeah, we'll grab the line first. Yeah, and we'll tidy that up afterwards as well. Now, no, that is fertiliser and a bit of seeds. Right, now, if we're using the Samurai, we need to stop at 90-something percent. Yeah, otherwise it will split the bag and it will go everywhere. Well, 90-something percent. It doesn't have to be... Yeah. So very strange. Now then, we got straight down there. Do we do this ourselves? Do we just? We need. Oh, it's, it's hard. You need a reference point. You need to know how far you go from start to finish. Yeah, before. Yeah, it's still an auto. 
before you can actually work out uh, whether or not it is true that it is. I mean, that's I, I, only the WMXL, and I've always said that that was the best spreader because it's having used practically all of them. That one always seems, and especially in the beginning, I think it's been toned down a little. Right, let's set this going and let's put cruise control on and we can follow the lines on the mini map. We can, which is a very, very useful feature of course, Blake, that you can actually control that now by looking at your little lines and looking where your nose is on the line to actually make sure. Yeah, it can take um, a bit of the hard work out, especially if you were doing something like spraying. And again, another reason why Courseplay is a cracking tool. Uh, yeah, often little tiny features like that are features that people miss and that no one mentions because no one really, but yeah, it is. I think things like that are hidden gems, a consequence of using the fantastic system. So all you need to do is make sure that you're hovering over the line in this situation and you are not gonna miss the edge of your field. This cosplay is cracking for that. Yeah, we need to fertilise afterwards. Well, I suppose the beauty of liming first is the fact that you can see where your fertiliser goes. Although, again, if you're following the lines, there's not really much... Uh, yeah, it's not really going to make difficult. Yeah, of course, you've got the, the round corners. If you're using this particular, the way that I always do, I always go for round corners, and that means that you're always going to have a little bit missing in the. But it's, it's a trade-off. Yeah, it is. I still think that is the best all-round thing. Not perfect because none of them are. You can, of course. I, I always think time is your most important asset, and when you're faffing around back, you know, like reversing and and doing that, it, it you you could say it's efficient, but is it? How much time do you waste in relation to your productivity on faffing around in that corner? Uh, let's just concentrate. Yeah, when you could, but yeah, and what I'm trying to say is that that's my point. You do, there is a certain inefficiency to it because you're, oh, I'm going to say, I don't think that was a filling. Yeah, there's a certain inefficiency because you're going to waste a tiny bit of corners of your field. And they are tiny bit, they're little tiny, which is why I often try to paint them. No, I can't see it, that is right. I was going to say well, I'm at 97% I am. Yes, but it does that inefficiency make up for the loss of time that you've got. Now, obviously on a busy farm, that's it, but in the beginning of a farm, then really, to be honest, you want every last little iota of things. But as a farm gets busier, little tiny inefficiencies cost so there is a time for doing both methods. There is definitely a time. Right, let's stick, stick cruise control on. Yeah, there is a time for like literally um, doing the edge of grass fields, and then there's a time when that that kind of efficiency that was efficient at the beginning becomes inefficient because you've not got the time to faff around with things like that. Your farm has got big and you have to take certain, not, not cutting corners exactly, but there is, yeah, you'll never get around all your work, whether you've got workers or whether you do it all yourself, if you do that kind of thinking. But of course people do, because the one thing is about most humans is we get into habits which are both good and, in a case like that, bad. Yeah, you really have got to like start doing it one way and, yeah, in fact, actually that is true. Because of the fact that I am following the line, I don't really need to be looking at the track like I normally would if I was doing this properly. Yeah, now this is two headlands for 42 meter, which does show you how big this field is. It is large even now that we've taken two slices out of it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to doing the sugar cane, I really am. Not, the only thing I am gonna say, if we're fortunate enough to get one of the bigger, the case or the um, jack toe, if we ever were, if we'd got the money at the minute, even if it had popped, we couldn't do it. Although if I said loans aren't allowed on this, no, I don't think I have. I think we would, in that instance, take a loan I must get the slurry as well, that's the other thing we've got to do today, get that slurry into the thing. In fact, in some ways, this, yeah, I think the next one will set a worker going on this. 
well, I suppose we'll also see how far it, the worker gets on on the lime as well. Whether it is more, it's hard to. It is very difficult to say. In all truthfulness, it really is. Did I do all of the food? I did. Yes, I remember. I did it with the second trailer as well. Yeah, and I will in time get a far more, but we just can't afford it at the minute. Yeah. Watch carefully. Yeah, we will set a worker gun on this one because I want to get the slurry with the Tatra. It is important because again, that is our income. That again, saved by the animals. It, that's what I say. Sometimes you invest in something and then obviously you get a, a, it causes something else, which becomes an income stream. But you've got to look at that, haven't you? You really have and actually make that work. That's why I wanted to invest in the straw. We were very, very hemorrhaging money but if you don't do that then you're not going to get your manure now we know that there's quite a few things in that other thing that the manure takes away the loss of cycles like yeah we lose a quarter if we do it without manure but we don't lose any if we do it with manure now that is a fantastic feature and also yeah works quite well I mean I'd like to have the patent on the uh, <laughs> whoever makes that system but it's only the same as the others isn't it? and it's the cycles are slightly better but the premise is that they're using manure to actually further enhance which has got lots of nitrates in so there's no real arguing the fact that you could crystallize such things right anyway what well, nearest and we're gonna go grab the Tatra yeah, I am really, really enjoying this. It's flowing well. Where the, the, there's lots of work for us to do on our farm, and there's there is, um, yeah, the, the animals have added a new feature that was missing before. I, I, I do, and I don't like the trees. I do, yeah. It's that. It's really don't like the way it's gone. I do love the features on the map, though. It's amazing. All these little tiny details that just make it so real. Yeah, Julian F. Modin has done a cracking job. I, and yeah, I do. Yeah, the, the comment um, about the map not being finished was the same as I was sort of saying about. Um, yeah, not being finished. I, I think perhaps in time, hopefully, Julian F. Modin. I mean, it is one of those features you don't have to, but you can't buy that land at the top. But it's just obvious that there's something was in the planning for that but it's not finished but it doesn't yeah doesn't affect gameplay now then we need I do believe we're going to need the tank to grab the slurry now we have got manure in there so actually we probably will use that particular one going forwards because it means that we're maximizing it on our business model let's let's do something about that now let's change that in here yeah we want um, manure and slurry which we can't do at the minute and digest it we want manure and digest it but we'll switch that on when we've got some digestate because at the minute we haven't got any so yeah although that's the kind of thing that I don't like mucking around with because it's sometimes yeah you forget to switch it back on or well, Marty is right that uh, it does cost you but sometimes I'd sooner it cost me for some things not not going against what Marty's advice because it was very good advice what I mean is there are some things like caught me out on Avon Valley where you switch off like the basic silage function and right that, that didn't last badly oh seriously uh, yeah this is I did sort of expect that in a way Also, the tractor itself isn't helping. We, if we'd have chosen someone like the Challenger, we may actually be better to use as traditional worker in this instance. Just literally, let's just do this corner, and then I think we're just going to set a traditional worker. They do have their place where they are better when you've got a square or something like that. Have we not? Yeah, we have got auto. 
just do that corner and then we'll set this going well we've done well on the uh, line I mean, that is the biggest the biggest right let's do this corner while we've got this here I do realise it is ripping the old grass, but it is what it is. It's yeah, I'm more. I hate seeing brown on a grass field. I really do detest it with a passion. And I also hate seeing stones, but hey ho. Yeah, I've sealed them in now. Now that is a point. Have we got? Yeah, we have got enough of a headland, I think, to actually cope with. Right. So if we set a worker going now, we'll just tidy up afterwards. Oh, now do we... No, we're doing the Tatra. Let's get that done first. Let's not hip-hop around jobs. Right, so this actually should be... Yeah. Oh, wow. pH value good. Yeah, we need to line this a little. Right, yeah, let's open the gates. Grab the Tatra. Oh, my bad. Very bad, leaving a lorry over the road like that. Mind you, it was a bit of an emergency situation. We were fixing a problem, although I don't know that the drivers would cope with that as a uh, a reason, really. But we will switch. We will be very good because this you would do. You wouldn't let your cows out, would you? Let's be honest. This I think is the only, and I, I, I am not having a go now. Again, this is an observation, not a criticism. Yeah, obviously, with an open pasture type thing, the, the only downside is, oh wow, it's got a brilliant filling um, thing, is the fact you've got to come inside your cows. Oh, let's, let's try and go for a little bit more realism than that. Oh, okay, okay. He says as he runs a couple of cows over. That's, that's well, apart from smashing it down, that's, that's better. Now, I think we did have 65 tons, so we should pretty much straw. Ah, now what is true? The manure is going to be this here, which I've crushed around, haven't I? You can't re. Ah, no, of course you can't. We need to put a manure point down, you wally. That's true, we do. Right, okay. I was going to say actually that had gone wrong. It was like doing all that weird flip thing. Right, so silo extension, we're going to use the fantastic one by the Bavarian. Nah, only thing is with this is that, yeah, oh, we need, actually, we need it. Yeah, this flipping that it does. Now we've got to do it. No, no, the actual straws on the other side. Do, if we put it in V mode, will it still function? Is that that's not really a nice angle though. We really need to be the opposite angle of that. Like say that. Or do we do it on the No no, because that's gonna get in the way of the slurry point. I think there's about right, let's just get it this side of that. Now then, that should now begin to read. Let's just see. Does it say it's attached? Oh, done on the animal dialogue, but it's still connected to the open cow pasture. It's not going to affect anything, really. Even though that was, yeah, that was a norm That's the only trouble when you've not got. Oh wow, we've got a full load out of that. That's the only thing, isn't it, when you haven't got. Um, oh. Trying to think of the word. Interactive zone markers. Yeah, when you haven't got interactive zone markers on, that's the only downside to that fact is that you can't see features that would be there. Obviously, as a content creator, your your playbook is different to a standard gamer where it's quite quite okay to actually. Uh, ooh, it's going to push the lorry, it is, which would actually break the fence in real life. Right, so then, yeah, this is where I'd like to change this somewhat. I'd have a, like a drainage pipe put underneath the ground, as you can do. As In Britain, there's a lot of that goes on where the traditional dikes have been filled in and pipes are being put in their place, ceramic pipes, big ones. 
yeah, I would have something done like that in that uh, place in real life obviously in this I'm going to just level it but yeah it's again there's a lot of things that you're simulating with what you do aren't there really right so we need to stick this in the manures already there I did switch this one on yeah I did it was I did switch the slurry one on it was the uh, digestate one that I didn't switched up yeah because we have not got any at the minute it seems a bit of a waste right while that's empty and let's get this middle bit done with the uh, ah, that's a point we really need this was the one that had the course we really need to try to get this at the point we need to switch the lines on really yeah I mean look at this mess right we need to unfold this I suppose we can follow the line of this first one it's the middle bit that's gone totally wrong if I set this baling next which I was going to oh it does it I think this is a bit let's have a look how much is the quadro what is its horsepower and it's it's big but it's not as big as you think if it was anything other than a windra but I know it is I think it's more than I'm thinking it is no no it isn't this is 160 horsepower that's 145 and I've got to be honest that you don't get a much heavier tractor than this so let's try and follow the line so that when the baler comes it is literally yeah let's tidy this up again doesn't lift straight away when you the lift a quadro swadro I keep calling it a quadro swad right so then you're going to clock the shed lift it and it really doesn't live properly they still the back ones still clip the grass I suppose you can switch it off and then they won't can we pull and avoid hitting the shed? No, we cannot. This is a beauty of an articulated tractor. Yeah, if you leave those on, it does that weird sort of thing, but we I don't mind a little bit of clean up like that. The bit that we need to clean up is, yeah, I don't mind doing that as well. Yeah, this is pulling it around a lot, and really, uh, this is a, a much heavier tractor than most. Right, we need to switch the lines on. Whoa, what on earth? Yeah, all. Oh, I need the line. You, you can see where it hit the. Um... very infrequently because it's like most people it's too many crank calls and oh do you know come on that's yeah it really is for saying it's more and it's heavier than most tractors I don't know why I suppose it can sometimes be design of the three point link and all sorts of things can't it right now this bit here is the bit that I want to just try and get this bit right Try and straighten that up a little. Brilliant. A bit more just for that corner. Then lift it. And then what? This is the bit. Actually, it went wrong earlier than I thought. I thought it was this was the kick where I thought it was going to get caught but it actually got caught on the corner by the BGA that's a trouble when you use something big like the Swadro as well really I said it right that time didn't I I did right okay so then uh, yeah let's try get in the line and let's stick that Ooh. yeah it's a, I usually use much bigger tractors even if the game says it's 145 it's uh, yeah it's not liking that is it let's be honest Right, so if we stop that as soon as we hit the end of this here, before we hit that grass on the left. Apologies for having the lines on, but yeah, this is... I, I don't think the Swadro is going to um, work on this particular field. I think we might switch back to the 6.5, which does go to show that there are some fields, and I think the other field's going to be the same, if I'm honest. 
if I think if we're going to go a grass field um, for something like the Swadro, it may be a different. Oh, we need to get this a bit more level, or we're going to rip that first windrow. Or we redesign the course. Which I really, truthfully, I'm not sure that we can. Now then, this is going to rip that out of Windrow. It doesn't really matter because this is still the proper course ish. Right, let's lift that and let's fold you away now. Let's switch those lines off. Fantastic, yeah, I'm not sure. It's a shame though, I mean, it's, it's a beaut. We're going to like. Well, I suppose that's the other thing, isn't it? How well is the baler going to do the bales with this thickness of um, windrow? If you've got to go over twice, you've got to ask yourself the question, is it efficient to have? And that's what I'm saying about efficiency. Efficiency is a double-edged sword. Yeah, I'm not sure how Yeah, how big the... Now, did it? It's got to have said we've got to run out of uh, lime across the road. I've just not been watching. Right, let's grab the baler and set this bale in. We'll see. This has got a fantastic pickup, though, I've got to say. Right, stick to the same course. And we do indeed want first waypoint. Right, smashing. We've done that. So we've done the tanker. Finish with the Tatra. Uh, no, the Baylor's not going to hit that. We've set that going. Have we set that? Yeah, no, it's fertilizer. So we've sold, told it to sell fertilizer or fertilizer. It's going to be a bit of tidy up on this. So we need to lime, finish off liming that, lime this, lime the grass field, but we also need to grab that off. I'm not sure I'm going to have time on this session yet. I'm trying not to time lapse all the time. I'm literally trying to come in and, uh, yeah, really crack on normally. Uh, yeah, we've definitely run out of lime. I just didn't see it. And how have this the normal worker done? It's not finished because the trailer's in the way. Let's see, unforeseen problems. Still, it has done an awful lot, and that that's the thing, isn't it? As well about not being in the habit of using traditional workers, there are limitations. Yeah, like if you were. Uh, You've got stuff in the way, like I have done that. That's my fault, totally. Again, your course play would never touch that. No, because you do it, that's why you do your headlands, really, so that you avoid that type of thing. Although I have got some headlands on here, not really quite enough. So if we do another couple of these, it gives a turnaround space for a traditional worker, doesn't it? So if we do that quickly and also tidy that corner up, we'll then get the liming done on that field. and the liming done on this field and the liming done on the other field yeah the grass i think we'll do the baling next session um uh do i leave you could still leave the grass on the field it's not really going to uh, affect anything is it and we could grab the bales next session i'd like to speed time up you see so we see some growth off this field or oh, no uh, no 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 it's going to play around with the animal no we actually i think we've got more more food this time. I, I can't see them using 60 tons, not quite. I think they'll be well. It, it's a good, yeah, it's a good test, isn't it, really? To see how much we do need to be in there every single day. And I do think in time, I am right. I think we'll probably, for the first time in a long time, I will go the, yeah, since Western Wilds, actually, I think it was the last Let's Play where I had uh, the um, motor fruit buying. Think, or did I have it as a assist on one? I didn't use it very much, but I had it. I might have done. It may have been an assist. But yeah, it is fantastic. It has got a place. Again, and, and that's what I was really saying about. Um, yeah, sometimes your time, and if we're filling up things, that one ton for, sorry, five tons for 1,000, although that's good, if it's wasting your time, and you can afford it, then there does come a certain point of time where actually it's more important your time is. Uh, it's that nitrogen okay, oh no, nitrogen bad. Yeah, we do need to sort that out. Do one more, do we think? One more lime. 
I don't know, it's hard to say. Looking at the position of the tractor, perhaps. I do wish the workers wouldn't open this thing. Right, let's get this done. Yeah, I think it is actually. It's either one or two strips. I think it's a single strip. Looking at that, oh no, there may be a little. I don't know. Sometimes Corsway does a run down to finish, but it doesn't always actually sort of. Um, I was going to say spray, but that's not really the right word. Talking of spraying, though, we do need to do that. I'm not sure if we ever need to check the weeding because we've used no till, so that means it really it should be having weeds on. So. We need to be getting our fantastic sprayer with its spot weed. Yeah, I was I was really chuffed that we actually got that capability. That the, we've got a lot of herbicide, but we may not need it <laughs> because that, uh, yeah, it really is so efficient that you very rarely, very rarely actually uh, need to spray a lot. But obviously, you still get your bonus for using precision farming. So win-win. Oh no no that actually has. I was going to say that yeah, that's not full itself. Right, let's get this done, and then we're going to get that grass field done, and then we're going to go and do the. Did we not? No, no, I don't think we did actually. So if we go here on the line, ish, you yeah, know there might be a bit of a, a bit of a stripe that we've missed. Yeah, there is, and, and actually, Cosplay is right. There is a tiny bit that you don't get on the line that we can see on the right of us, so not a bit bit wider than 42 metres. But I think we'll do this with all that we've got, if I'm honest. Yeah, we'll flip to the right now, and we'll get most of that, half of, a bit of that line. I would say half. Yeah, it's starting to skitter even now. Right, so there's two little lines here. This one here. Yeah, if, I know it's a, it is a heavy tractor, but I still think it probably could do with the rear weight. The the uh, oh, was it not? I'm getting the Rosenstein. Remember, I had the actual samurai. The I always have difficulty saying it. I'm getting rustle mash in my head now. Oh, last strip. Are we on auto? Yes, we are. Now then, no lines, just little old me. Now I think that one, that little strip down there, is definitely less than 42 meters. So rather than spray our cows with a bit of lime, I think we will uh oh let's try and get this right so we don't spray in there. That's a little bit too wide and is spraying in there. That's I'd, I'd sooner be a little bit short than I would to spray the cows. Brilliant. So that's now. We'll have a look on the map in a minute. We'll adjust this to 21, I think. Uh, is it that one? It is. That's the one I'm going with. We shall see how right I am. And this time I am going to zip out a little bit. Are we right or are we? Is that still too excessive? No, no, not really. That's about right, actually. You actually got it pretty much right for once. And oh, 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 that's as close as close gets without damaging. I'm not sure you damage that, but you, yeah, I'm not risking it. We're going to do that with the one with narrows, definitely the uh, white boss. 
which may well be a tractor that I feature quite a lot. I, I, I'm hoping it does the Pepe's um, rear, uh, the rear, the fr front lift. <laughs> There's nothing rear about that. Let's just get that little tiny bit there. And I know I've not got that bit of grass, but I'm not tending on using that as grass really. It's more of a headland, although obviously it will cut if we sort of touch it. Fantastic, let's do that last little tiny bit. Just try and touch that up. Try and gauge this right so I'm not going to go in the cow field. Fantastic. Now then, let's have a look at the precision farming. I'm sure something else. I know we've got nitrogen. I do know that. Right, so that's, yeah, we've got a lime, that little tiny, the little tiny. That's nothing little tiny about that sugar cane field. So you're not going to say that when you're harvesting. Yeah, nitrogen. Now, field, obviously the grass, we know that. But field two, let's have a quick look over there. Now the field boss is going to need the lime in a minute. Let's just top that back. Yeah, no, you'll do, and then we'll let, let the field boss with its narrows do that. And yeah, we're also going to need the fertilizer, aren't we? Because we didn't get the liquid. while that's filling yeah it could be yeah efficiency efficiency you're on about go and get right now we could also take this back yeah I'm not used to that causeway always tidies up after itself right now, oh, let's have a look actually let's just check and make sure that uh, on the normal farming that we have actually planted or oh, we need to switch grass off to sea grass yeah that looks good to me no dots well, well we shall see it's it's hard to see you could see a tiny weeny little dot and you wouldn't show this needs a wash so let's leave this outside the uh, the shed where the washer is ready to be have a good good clean because it deserves it it's done a lot of work the terrace M. well actually the John Deere has as well we are we are maximizing use of this even if like it's not my favorite tractor so it always sounds so harsh but yeah, we've all got things that we like about equipment and things that we don't but I don't hate the tractor or anything silly I really don't, it is a cracking tractor and it does has done us proud otherwise I wouldn't be using it as much I'd just leave it and forget about it same as the 160 horsepower tractor we use that quite a lot I do, I do like that tractor yeah it also got some fond memories of it to uh, yeah, in the early days, well it, was, well, it was actually the very first modded tractor released in FS22. I remember waiting for a modded tractor and he dropped. I know it's on no man's land. Right, let's reverse up to that. How did the baler get on? What waste was there? No, that's, that was a terrible turn. Nowhere near where I wanted you to be. And I'm not blaming the... Uh, John Deere for that. that, that's definitely driver error that, that's, that's more like it right, how did the baler go have we finished have we seemingly run into the BGA and sit quite happy sitting perhaps having a smoke break perhaps no run into a bale haven't you yeah there's certainly an awful lot of a mess let's go nearest I still think you're probably going to bump into a bale sooner rather than later that's any trouble with doing this in this way when you do that and it runs over and catches itself it you're always going to get issues. I just like to try and see what this, the ho what horsepower this is. I can't do anything about it now, but it would be very useful to uh, upgrade this to the 170 horsepower. So that's quite respectable. Can I squeeze past that? Yeah, I even like the shape of this. Actually, it's uh, quite a nice-looking sort of uh, tractor. I think it is. It did it become 
it's it the company changed hands quite a bit according to Julian F. Modin's research, which I don't doubt for one minute. Yeah. Right, so then let's customize. Would cost us do you know something? We're gonna do it. That's not gonna leave us that short really. Right, we want the sprayer. And we've got 28 or 23 tonnes of homemade herbicide sitting in our uh, little shed. Ah, have we stopped already? Seriously? Right, well, we're going to go fix that. I think I ought to do it myself, really. I can at least dodge the bales. And that's, as I say, sometimes why it, it, all workers, they're all, they're okay, but none of them are anywhere near perfect or near good enough. I do love that, how oh, the spacing on that. That's amazing. Right, let's try and fix this. Let's go around. No, I think it's going to get snagged just up there as well if we uh, leave the worker. It's not half got a good pick up there. Look at that. It's not leaving any grass, well, very little grass left for a windrow like that. Fantastic pick up on this. I'm saying it's a. Uh, yeah, you wouldn't expect one of the cheapest balers in the game to actually have, you know, uh, no weaknesses almost. And, and really that's what you're getting with this it really has got a fantastic pick up which was the game in FS the, the game, the Baylor in FS19 it was one of the cheap Baylors ah, it was, I think it was the New Holland basic one and it's pick up was terrible that that was what you were, you know, what you were not getting with that right, yeah, well let's tidy this up it's true, I, yeah I was going to do this well no we are going to do the baling I wanted to get the baling itself done but just not the yeah the actual grabbing off the field although yeah would I lime with this on the floor no probably not so I won't it's true we're not going to fertilise or lime this until we've got the bales off the the uh, it's not going to affect anything It's a bit to the right of us. Let's let's tidy this up properly as we're going. No point in going up the field and then coming all the way down to tidy up when you're passing it. And it and again, efficiency. It is. It's it's all about efficiency, really. Wasting your time and time is your most precious commodity. And, oh, yeah, I suppose it is true. I was just thinking about English farmers and English roads and things like that. Now, unfortunately, yeah, there's a lot of English farmers that uh, can't really have massive implements because of the roads in Britain. It, yeah, which means they're stuck with like either things that uh, are three meters or things that collapse well, like some of the things we've got in the game where they uh, fold really well. That kind of innovation. Although I, I've got to be honest, I do see some. I saw an Amazon sprayer the other day uh, in real life, and yeah, whoa. Let's just tidy that bit up in the middle. And that bit where that, yeah, that massive, massive swath there that we've missed. Let's grab that by going from this angle. miss that one because I'm yeah I'm not going to argue with the bail the bail will win I have no doubt yeah it's quite a lot of grass to tidy up on that edge although we're not going to finish the thing it, it does look messy let's just have a bit of a go and then we're going to crack on with the uh, yeah we're not going to lime or fertilize this but I'm not sure let's have a quick look at that field I think it does it need pH no no it doesn't 
fact, I think, do you know something? I think we're going to do the episode because it, it has actually been quite a long session. And if I'm wrong, <laughs> then I'll add a bit more on. It's weird as you record in your sense of uh, how long a session is because sometimes you can be, uh, yeah, I didn't think I'd got enough the other day and I was literally an hour. It was more than enough. And I always find the ones where I don't time lapse, times does seem to flow quite quickly and you don't think it has. Right, one more, we'll just tidy that bit up as well. I've been productive though, I would have liked to have taken this through till tomorrow morning. Oh, I suppose we still can, can we? Let's just think about it. We need to have. Well, I've got a fertiliser across the road. No, I didn't mean to do that, I meant to do that. Now I can fold. Right, let's stick that. Oh, we're not going to get past. Okay, we'll leave that there. Let's go across the white boss. We were going to do this spraying, but yeah, I think actually I'm right. We're going to do that tomorrow now. Definitely. Let's just get the liming done. Oh, we, well, actually, we wanted the white boss for that as well, so we'll drag that across. How much spray have we got in this? Although, with having the spot on now, I don't think. I'm not sure about that purple. It's a bit painful to look at. Yeah, the the chrome. It, I don't. I, I don't think it would be in real life. It's it's chrome, it, the chrome effects making it a bit. Well, I don't know. I suppose it might be. Yeah, it's a true depiction of a colour, isn't it? So perhaps not the wisest choice of the. Yeah, it does look a bit weird. Yeah, we'll drop this over this side, ready for tomorrow for spraying. But we'll get on with the fertilising uh, and the liming on that. Whoa. Let's drop that off. Yeah, this has got narrow. Yeah, no, I'm not sure. We'll swap to back. It has got narrows. Right, let's drop that. Oh, we did finish that, didn't we? We did indeed, definitely. And we've done that feel perfectly. We just need to do that. So if we give the white boss that um, thing and then we'll uh, let you take over with the fertilising. That's brilliant. That's Wanted that, you Wally. <laughs> that's typical. Oh, that, that's that's one of those um, mental blurbs where you just say what you're going to do in time, but actually that's not yet. But then you you go with what you've just said, which was the fact that we're going to go with fertilizer. But yeah, we really still needed the lime in this. Now it has got a weight on it. This answer, I did put the weight. I did. So it should cope with the back yeah it's even got a nice turning circle it really is a, a beautiful tractor I would say little but it's a medium so the only tractor we've got with narrows I can't believe that actually that's quite unbelievable that all of those tractors have, will not go. I'm not sure about the little John Deere whether that actually does have narrows. I don't think it says the narrows about, but I wouldn't like to risk it. I wouldn't like to go on a field with its so-called narrows and and it not. Yeah, really wouldn't want that. Right. So then, oh, we need to turn the. Ah, uh, God. Right, smashing. That's better. Uh, yeah, it's not really going to take very long to this. I would say, no. You, I always do this. This, this is one thing I'm not very good at. When you look at a field like that, and you think, yeah, yeah, it's just, just two. It's not. There's more than two. Oh, be careful. Yeah, we're on auto. Yeah, there's definitely more than what I'm thinking. And it also, it's going to use this quickly, isn't it? Really. Now uh, we're coming in a little.
Yeah, and I think this is going to be a better sugar cane than the one we had on Silver Rum. And also, there's not there's yeah, I, I I don't think I missed much. Yeah, oh, there's a little heart. He says as he comes across a patch here that he missed. Yeah, two patches there definitely that are missed. Oh, one there as well. Yeah, so not quite as good as I thought. I, yeah, but looking from the outside, I thought it was a. Uh, Really, really good. I thought I'd do. I, yeah, the only thing, the only thing that I would be, again, observing about the field boss is its speed of 22. But I have had field, I've had lots of tractors with the yeah the um, John Deere. We've got the small John Deere. I think that's a 19. Again, I'm not a massive fan of anything under. I like, yeah, 26 is what I would class as as reasonable for a tractor. I could live with that quite comfortably. I like the case um, 7250 Pro, and that's 26, or, or I think it still is now. It always was. I'm sure it is. Right, that is actually done. It's just where it, the thing planted afterwards and ripped the lime. So finally, this is a grass field. I say it's going to be awkward to mow. I don't know whether to just do the square and maybe manually do this or forget about this bit in front. It could do that. It, it, that might cause less hassle. It might even be better for the Swadro as well, actually, if we might actually get the Swadro to work on that if we do it like that. Sometimes got to uh, work with the tools that you've got. Again, that's another form of efficiency. Right, that's good. I think we might actually do this on what we've got in here. It says, I think we will. I think. Ooh, maybe not quite. No, a little smidgen mist. And I am going the long way by going around there, aren't I? We can just go down here. I know this is a compromise, but can you imagine how much this would have cost if I'd have done it properly? From the distance, it looks all right, but right, yeah, we're definitely not going to need a full one. But hey ho, yeah, that is true. I think we'd only need about a ton, a thousand, sorry, ish, and then we'll get the fertilising done on that field and then we've got the fertilizer done on this field uh, yeah I'd like to finish the job so I can always say that but this probably is going to be a bit of a monster a monster session because of yeah I was doing all of the bits and bobs and there's no time lapse now I still didn't quite get that that's it now let's eject that there let's get the fertilizer at the top of this field first no, actually, yeah, we don't need to fertilise the grass because that was done when it was planted. So this should say now, and probably say needs weeding, which it doesn't, strangely enough. the road as well wasn't it nitrogen yeah field two no no that's perfect for that it's just literally yeah we can see field 24 the corn is one of those crops that actually does really need fertilizing all right let's get this off the, the edge i think it was five tons pretty much in the uh, other one because obviously i had that feature switched off which is why it was terrible but this is definitely not a job for this. Yeah, this is where we do need the. Uh, ah, what? Yeah, we'll let let the class take over with its front storage. Oh no, actually no, we're going to do that field, aren't we? You're being silly. Then we'll let the class do that. Yeah, I'm really chuffed that we managed to buy this field in our, our first year. That that was a, a real big shock, to be honest. 
A nice one, I might add. Yeah, we, we turned it around. I don't think I've ever had a late display where it turned around as quickly as this. From sort of almost disaster. We, we made all the right moves uh, for once. <laughs> and it really did sort of show. We seemed to move from one, one good move to another. And yeah, the map and all of our partners worked with us very well. And yeah, the rest is history. Although, yeah, I, I, as I say, I keep going a bit close to the knuckle with uh, grabbing money and then I suppose you want to, yeah, it's a bit like the cow. I didn't really, the fences should have waited, but what, would you do that in real life? No, of course you wouldn't. You'd have to have fences. So, yeah, the fact is that and we've, we've been out and done a couple of contracts and seen bits of the map that we wouldn't have seen if we hadn't have done that. So, swings and roundabouts. Is, am I going to get this in one loop up? I don't quite think so. There's a bit too much, I think, on the left hand side. Just a little. Right, fantastic. Actually, yeah, that is a point. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the worker and we'll just not show it. Yeah, it is one of those jobs. You've seen me fertilise. You know I'm going to do it. We've, we've got the fertiliser here, so it's not like I'm, I'm possibly going to cheat. I always say chain of evidence, but there's nothing to be gained here. Yeah, and it's not the most interesting sort of bits to watch that. Ah, I've got to tip this on the side, aren't I, for a little while? Messy. Yeah, that sounds like a plan, actually. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Yeah, we're going to grab that fertilizer, stick that... Well, it won't be quite five ton by you. We did use a bit from that back as well, and we have got some in left, so we shall see what we see. Yeah, I'm just going to literally fill this up with you being with me, and then I'm going to set this going on that course, which... Was that the last course that we just... I think it was. We should check. these are little bags so they shouldn't split it's only those big eight no I don't think it is actually I'm sure with the samurai we've had it where it's split oh, I don't know I think it's always been those line bags personally right that is it right let's set this going then let's just check that uh, this is the course ah, you can't can you let's just see goes for over that section then we're all right and then we're going to call it quits yeah we are headed right so i'm going to say my words yeah this this will be done unless there's a problem when we run out of fertilizer and then obviously i've got to buy some more fertilizer because i think this was pretty much it so yeah if well i suppose what we could do is if that is the case i shall stop this where it stops simple as that so that is state of play for th for this session he says let's just make sure so yeah let's just take stock of what we've done we've got the bailing to grab off next session field seven's completely done field two is done right even though it doesn't look like it is the nitrogen is right we've been over that and it, it definitely says it's as good as it should be yeah the ph is perfect on seven two twenty four and the the yeah the, the bit of a grass field it's also perfect on the sugar cane. So nitrogen, all we've got to do is field 24 and obviously the grass field next time when we've shifted the bales. So yeah, that, that's 
definitely sum it up so all I need to say is thank you very much for watching truly do hope you can stick with me on this I'm really excited journey I've got to be honest I really look forward to coming on the map it, 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 every single well it's the let's play as well it's not just a map sometimes things drop into place and it flows well and all that type of stuff and that, that can be down to many features uh, balance and all sorts of things but I think we seem to have that right so anyway yeah thank you very much for watching and Goodbye for now. Right, I thought I'd just, yeah, I ran out, I ran out of fertilizer and I thought, we haven't got any, but we have got a little bit before the hour, before it sells that. So I thought, well, let's just grab our own. So I've got, uh, yeah, there's a, a bit, I think this should just about do it across the road, but yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll finish off this. I came back, I, I thought I'd leave it while I went down for my breakfast, just for that thing. I, I don't mind doing that type of stuff, I don't do it a lot. But yeah, for that type of thing where you're just watching something go down, then yeah, you can see what's left quite a bit. I'm not sure this is still going to be quite enough, but we'll do this ourselves and I'll just tack this on to the end of the, that. So I won't say them goodbyes because I've already said them. Yeah, I'll literally just, yeah, I really do want to get this sorted here because I'd like this to be the field entrance, but with such a nasty drop. And also, yeah, we'll put a proper path in as well. And that's a little naughty. I know it really was like, a, you can see it's a water thing, but it's it's only like one of those little dots. And as I said, I could do what I what I was talking about, where we literally put a, no, then that's, no we're not gonna do this. We're just gonna literally go. Yeah, we could put a pipe in basically, as I was talking about earlier. I still think I'm gonna need a bit more, but yeah, this, this is it for now. because we've gotta go down to the shop. So we're gonna we're gonna run out and go as far as we can, and then we'll grab this uh, next session. We'll go down, and we'll also get the spraying underway on all of the fields that need spraying, which I don't think there's many. They, that I don't know why that one doesn't need because we didn't did we plow that one? We've got a cultivator. Did we plow that one? I hate that with my but yeah, short term memory. It's shocking. Well, it, it, yeah, it's, it's not always shocking. I can remember silly, minute little details. And I can even remember things a, a long time ago. It's just, yeah, weird short-term things. And even that's not all of the time. It's not always like that. Right, I don't know. We might actually do this which would be a nice place to be. Yeah. So this was our own homemade fertilizer. So that is brilliant. If, if it's only a little smidgen of, which it looks like it will be, then uh, I'm happy to leave that. I am. Uh, there's, there's some times where I'd like for us to go through till tomorrow, really. I think, because isn't this? No. Oh, no, yeah, that's true. All we've got to do is grab the... I think we will do this, actually. Yeah, we've just got to grab the... Uh, bales off the field and which I don't mind that doing that tomorrow yeah it's just oh no but then it's the feeding of it well no I'm thinking of the uh, selling of the fertilizer now we'll just check the settings of that though before I would like to do that I'd, I'd like to where possible get us through till the next month because it's then that you see your growth isn't it what what you've done and the impact that what you've done has on the let's play even though sometimes the impacts yeah well at least we can see the grass will have grown and this is a smidge of orange, so let's just do that as well. 482 litres left, fantastic. No, no, this is, I'm sure this is right. Yeah, it doesn't need anything at all, which surprises me. Let's have a look at all of the fields. Let's go to the normal thing and have a bit of a, as I did rush off, I must admit, right. So that's growing, that's growing, that's growing, that's growing. Yeah, so we do need to spray the um, sugar cane field. And that looks to be the only one, but I suppose we could look in the morning. Field seven, we've already done, I remember doing it. Yeah, again, that's dodgy memory. 20, yeah, CP1 as it appears on there, the little grass field. That's happy, it's got stones. Well, they're, nearly all of our fields have got stones, which we will do something about at the end of this year. We will, we're gonna gr grab a, a de-stoner, that's not going to help us with the grass inside the thingy, but yeah, 
Yeah, Mulch needs rolling. No, that's yeah. There's obviously the needs rolling. Seven and two both need rolling, but there's nothing we can do about that at the minute. We're not in a position to actually do anything about that. But that really is it. So just the weeding on the um, sugarcane field next session. So yeah, let's let's see as well. See how well we do. I'm going to leave it at this. So obviously we're going to go through till tomorrow morning. Let's have a look at what is on the sale. So sometimes, yeah, it's a shame about that uh, challenger. I really would, that would have been a rock nice, would have given us three big tractors uh, at 300 horsepower as it is, was still classed in my eyes as a big thing, so it may be there in the middle, right, the other thing, productions, let's just check, that, that is on, I haven't, yeah, so manure plus slurry, and selling, which we've just grabbed it, so it's some seeds, we've got, yeah, just under two tonnes, plenty of that, and the herbicide, tw nearly 25 tonnes, so we could sell that, I suppose, but I don't really want to, because we, the salt wasn't, we didn't make that, so, yeah, it's a, it's a shame, otherwise I would have, uh, can you make that from that, I don't think you can, can you, I don't think you can buy, um, make salt, I don't think, if you could, then I would actually allow that uh, because really the whole process is based upon the salt and a bit of water, I think it is yeah, it's only salt and water <laughs> which probably would kill weeds <laughs> salt's a, a real yeah, it's not very nice but yes, yeah, someone's painted a herbicide that using salt, but yeah, I'm basically it's not we can't we can't make salt as far as I'm aware but yeah anyway let's let's go through till tomorrow morning we've literally planted everything and then really we'll have a quick look at to see how everything is and also the most important thing is to see if those animals with 55 tons will survive with a little bit of food we need to we, we need to know what they are using per day we should have a tick up as well because of the oh just a little yeah, let's have a look at the... Oh, it is still there. That would pretty much clear us out, though. Leave us with 20,000 again. It would. Let's have a look. The most important thing of the day is looking at the cows. Please tell me you didn't run out of... Ooh, Gordon Bennett. No, they didn't, but they... Oh, 15 litres of water. Let's quickly... No, no, no. Time is... Yeah, stuck at 0.5. We'll start that back to one. This is us just literally. Uh, in fact, I'm not going to say goodbye. I'm going to slink away into the distance and hopefully see you next time. So that was as close as close can be. So 60 odd tons of TMR is what just gets you through, and that's only with 79. So yeah, when that's, I'm going to say, I would imagine that on when the, this is full, that 150 tons is probably going to go. It literally be the daily input from it so I, th I don't think we can afford no I think we're going to have to the challenger I think may have to we may have to forgo that unfortunately right, let's just have a quick look let's jump the thing and see what slurry we've got because that you can sort of expect that almost every day we have oh wow and more actually that's brilliant straws all gone so have we got any manure Hmm, seemingly not. Now that shocks me a little. I can just see it's connected to it, to the open cow pasture. Hmm. Yeah, we should have some, even if it ran out of straw at some point. So it's definitely not. Is it because it's on the open animal dialogue? Has that affected it? As I wondered, once I realised I'd done that. This may be something we investigate in future sessions, definitely, yeah, because there's got to be something wrong with it, because it's used all the straw and there is no manure, unless you can't see it because it's the, a clash of the animal dialogue, and, and yeah, because as soon as you stand in it, no, it does say naught, naught out of four million, so yeah, we'll, we'll just see, we'll give it a couple of days, a couple of months, and we'll take it from there, but I think I'm right, I think we're going to stick with that 102,000 for now, because we've got to buy, yeah, in fact, I think we're going to do what I said. Yeah, we're going to place... And we'll do it on this patch of grass here, I think. In fact, we could be clever. 
we could actually. I, just, I like my thinking. It's a long time since I've had my partner um, from H2 Studios in uh, Let's Play. What we could do is, if we use V mode, have that just poke over the uh, fence. Yeah. Well, is that going to be close enough? Does it matter if that bit of metal went through the fence like that? I don't think so. Right, okay, there we go. And that is that in. Yeah, we're going to grab some TMR. No, that, that's not too awful. There are only little bits of pipe work. It's only so that we can deliver straight into the field. H2 Studios will fill this with our TMR. We'll, uh, yeah, it's no different to a TMR. So I would have liked to have made our own, but we, we, again, it's what I said. Milk That Hen asked a long time ago about me making um, TMR. It's not that I'm afraid to make TMR, it's that we usually are using the BGA and we're butchering our own inputs. So I'd sooner buy it in because our the, the productions we use are more important to us than... Let's just put a bit of grass on that. I don't like that. I can afford it at the minute, so let's do it. Right, landscaping. Yeah, it, it really is that we... We're butchering our own productions, really, if we... Uh... Right. Brilliant. That's. I know it's not perfect, but it's better than the green. The, yeah, the green. So that's what we're going to go with. We are. It's going to cost us a little bit more, but it has still got good bonuses. Uh, yeah, my old friend here has served me faithfully through many a Let's Play at the beginning when... This I think was the only thing, but it's still brilliant. It really is. I don't like to. I know there's one now that does it for free, and you know, no, it was, I, I, you know, I like it. To, it's got to be part of the let's play, hasn't it? Really. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna slink off and hopefully see you next time.